Well, I guess that was some sort of hurdle I didn't want to cross. But on we go. Uh, 100, you know. It's up. So anyway, uh, it is still uh, Sunday, March 28th. Just got back from a meeting. Um, yeah, it was a little bit smaller than, you know, some of the past Sundays. I guess it was a little colder and windier, so maybe it kept some people um, at the work release um, barracks facility. Facility, that's probably what it's called. It's not a camp. <laughs> it's not really a barracks. And it's not really a prison either, I don't think. It's a housing internment facility for the transition of... I don't know. But anyway. So, anyway, we had a, a guy. Um, it was his first meeting ever, and uh, he told a little bit of his story after getting... Um, feeling a little bit more confident that he was in the right place, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it didn't sound like he had, um, yeah, yeah, he's in the right place. Yeah, I'm glad that he's like, I realized this a long time ago, um, well, you know, I don't know if realize is the right word, but I am really glad that I went through what I went through to get to where I am, you know, and I'm glad, I'm really glad that I didn't have to go through what anybody else had to go through to get to where they are. Um, so this is like, that didn't sound like fun. Of course, my own story. No, you, you don't want that. But uh, his story, he, he, and he didn't seem to think too much of it. It's like, yeah, that seems, you know, that made sense to him because he lived it, so it made sense to him. But to me, from my perspective, it's like, whoa, scary. <laughs> so, and it's the same thing about my own story. It's like, you know, I haven't told it in a while, um, but, ooh, spooky. It's like, so I don't even know what it sounds like. But to me, it's like, well, it's my story, so it's, well, it's normal to me. But to anybody else, um, it might be strange. But anyway, um, so we had a beginner's meeting. Of course, every meeting is a beginner's meeting. There's always somebody there that needs to hear stuff. Including me. Just like, you know, helping out those who struggle. But remembering that I also struggle a lot more than what I care to realize. Hmm. You know, and I deal with things internally. And uh, it's not because I don't want to admit anything. It's just that no one has answers for me. They might have perspectives on things that they've gone through. And, uh, but um, they have very neurotypical um, responses to how to deal with things. And I heard something recently um, from one of the pages or something about how for a lot of neurotypicals, what is actually correct or true depends on who is saying it and when. It could be the exact same thing, but if the wrong person says it, then it, well, it's only true when the right person says it. Like, somebody could be like, you know, somebody's like the wrong person could be like, two plus two equals four, you know. And the next, you know, somebody with more authority. Two plus two equals four. And everybody's like, oh, oh shock. Or, you know, I don't, that's simplistic, you know. But, uh, you know, it is how it is, you know, as far as like, mm, what's it go? Um social hierarchy kind of thing and it's a you know i guess a, a, another simpler example or not simpler because it's complicated but uh, as far as uh, gender equality um you know when a woman says something it's something you know, what the man says is the exact same thing it's well, all man said it so it's oh it's true you know, so something like that 
and, and same thing with race and uh, you know it's everything any way that we divide ourselves um, you know it's like depending on who says it um, is lends it a factor of truth based on who is saying it it's the same the truth remains the same it just depends on who's saying it. it's kind of messed up you know that's why it's like well we say that you know children you know you know you know sometimes children are the most observant because they don't have all those filters and biases um, that uh, prevent them from recognizing truth as it is being spoken so if they don't they don't have all these things to where they disbelieve stuff automatically based on these little things that we pick up as we get older it's like well you know so they haven't learned they haven't learned how to mistrust they haven't you know learned how to not believe they're innocent so and it takes a whole world of people to uh, slowly degrade and corrupt and teach children um, all about being human you know so <sighs> so anyway and then they wind up in the rooms of uh, you know anonymous people and uh, recovering from all sorts of different addictions so this particular room it is an Alcoholics Anonymous room but uh, we play host, play host, and offer hospitality to all that you know that walk through that door, and we don't care. At least I don't care. There are some people that used to care, but they no longer come, and they are fine not to come. You know, good luck. But uh, you know, I don't know how other anonymous groups work, but ours is welcoming to everybody. You know, we don't care. No, we care, but we don't care. We're not going to turn anyone away based on, you know, any of the, you know, typical stuff. So, everybody's welcome. And that's the name of one of the groups, is everybody's welcome. And, uh, you know, we don't find something out about you and you're just like, oh, you got to go. You know? And so far, and it's like, and we're self-policed, you know, so it's like, we don't tolerate, you know, people um, being made felt less than for anything about them. You know, so I don't know why I protect myself so much about being autistic. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, there's at least a few of us in there that, you know, probably are just un undiagnosed. Um, and it's not my job to diagnose them or even, you know, but I could be... Uh, a representative of you know of autism or being autistic and uh, you know being okay with it um, it's not something I you have to feel like you should hide or keep a secret meanwhile I, I haven't I haven't gotten to that point yet where I feel comfortable it's like maybe that's where the thing was it's like I needed it's like I need somebody else to show me that it's okay, and I I haven't had that. Um, you know, I had it one time, and that kind of takes me to where I'm going um, in a little while. But first, I got to take care of something. It is Sunday, after all. Inevitabilities. It's not bad. It's just. It takes me out of wherever I'm at. It just totally just... So I want to get thoughts recorded before I go someplace else. Ugh. I know what I'm talking about and anybody that... Yeah. So. Yeah. So it's like I need examples to follow. And, uh, you know... So I'm going to that place. And I'm getting ready to tell a story. And I'm trying to remember all the different little pieces. And I'm not going to remember them all because I haven't told it in a while because there hasn't been reason to. But uh, it's not even the greatest of stories. Um, as it was, it was literally kind of still just kind of brand new. And just still, well, I was, I wasn't really, I was, 
running on automatic pilot or something? I don't know. But I wasn't... I didn't know I was autistic yet. That's the main thing, I guess. And I, I, I met somebody that... Uh, and uh, So that's the story I'm going to tell. You know... Uh. Mm. So there'll probably be like a, uh, a review afterwards too, because I'll be like, uh, I have stirred up some memories and. You know. So anyway, it was a good meeting tonight. Um, I guess I had some more to say, but. Uh, it's already escaping me. Hmm. 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 It is weird uh, to be, I don't know, besides being alive and to keep making choices that uh, promote uh, life and living and being relatively happy, healthy, happy, I don't know, I, that was an accident, I didn't mean to say that word, uh, relatively contented and satisfied, I don't really know what happy even means, but I usually just spend my time uh, in contemplation and, you know, frustration over not understanding what's going on, and, you know, just like, ah, well, Yeah, so it's like I don't even know what's going on most of the time. People think I do, but I don't. I don't pretend that I do either. I just think people just don't know that I don't know. So, and most of the time people just are, they just leave me alone anyway, so whatever. <sighs> How long will it be like this? Well, it's been like this for a long time. So, because I'm just not that uh, engaging or interactive with people. Because I don't really see too many people around me that are, you know, it's like, I'm not that curious, I guess. And they've all got their stuff going on. They've all got friends and family and, and uh, relationships. And I'm just always, I'm the outsider looking in. Um, and I've tried to, you know, be, you know, get to know people. Put in, and it's like, for whatever reason, it just, I don't know, I, I, I eventually just wander off. So, I'm working on it, but uh, around here, it's like I'm kind of just, that's one of the things, it's like, did I really want to put down roots here? And I'm just kind of, I don't put down roots, and I haven't really put down roots, I've established myself, and it's like, I can put down roots, but... Uh, it's kind of, it's been in sort of in a way where it's like, I'm just clear. And any time it's just like, well, I guess I don't really, I don't really have any ties. I can just, nothing is holding me here. I can go anywhere at any time. And it's been fun. And it's not that I don't care and it's not to be mean. It's just like, if life no longer, you know, life takes me places, and it's happened before, and, you know, I am getting older, and, uh, you know, so it's like, how many times am I willing to start my life over again? And it's like, well, I don't. I don't start my life over again. I just take it to different places, and uh, meet new people, and it's like, and everybody's going to be fine, you know, with or without me, they'll be fine. Um, and sure, I can stay, you know, I'd be welcome to stay and keep doing what I'm doing. And who knows, maybe build some sort of more more of a life for me than uh, than what I've got now. Um, maybe maybe even meet somebody eventually, who knows, around here. 
and uh, develop a significant relationship of some variety. Um, but I just haven't really met anybody. Um, you know, I've met a few people over my time, but uh, I've investigated and tried to get to know them. But most of the time, people don't want um, to get, you know, they don't let me get to know them the way that I want to get to know them before. I, you know, it's like I want to get to know people ahead of time. I don't want to just rush into anything. It takes me a long time to get to know somebody. And a lot of people, they don't want to commit to that amount of time and the depth of getting to know them. Um, I don't want just surface like opinions and what's your favorite color, what, what music do you listen to, what movies, what TV. It's like, for me, that's not, um, that's not gonna cut it. You know, I don't care about your politics so much and your social agendas and I don't know. I'm just, looking for the individual that's in there, not the representation. Um, you know, t take away all the, uh, you know, extra material and all the fluff and what is left over, what is at the core um, without, you know, all the other things, all the attachments, you know, so that's what I'm always interested in, but people are very cloaked and camouflaged underneath everything that, you know, protects them, keeps them safe, and so it's hard to see, and it's like, and I do the same thing, I can't say that I'm a, an open book at all, but all you have to do is ask me questions, and be surprised at, uh, like, because I really don't have anything to hide. Um, and I will answer questions to the best of my ability um, if, if I feel like I, 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 I can, if it's safe. Um, and I guess that's the same thing for other people. They don't know that they're safe. So then that they're, you know, they're going to act as if they're not safe. But uh, one of the things that I'm trying to get in the habit of is just, pff, what's the worst they can do to me? You know, it's like, I... Pff, yeah, I talk about that. Yeah, I talk about this. It's so like, good luck trying to use it against me because I'll tell anybody about it. You know, so it's like, yeah. And so it's like, I am, I have the ability to hurt myself worse than anybody else can. And it's like, you know, if the worst that anything can happen to me is I die, it's like, okay, I'm going to die eventually anyway. So, I'd like to live first. I might as well, since I'm here. And it seems like an awful waste of resources to have, you know, raised this individual to this point and had all this experience for it to not be shared and passed on, or at least, you know, you know put down. So, and it might never be looked at or whatever, but at least it's somewhere. And it didn't just evaporate. Um, so, use it some sort of meaning or substance? I don't know. But uh, it feels like maybe it counted for more than just, you know, it, at least it's better than dying an alcoholic death alone in the Northwest woods. So, it's got to mean more than that. The rest, as I'm living right now and what I'm doing, it's a uh, bonus. Living on bonus time time that I wouldn't have had, and, uh, you know, just trying to remain, um, have that perspective and be grateful for the opportunity at all this, uh, heartache and frustration and despair. So, these horrible problems... These are problems, these are good problems. Good problems to have. And it's like, that's what I have to tell myself that, because I forget. Hmm. So, anyway, 
I already had it in mind that I'm going to tell this story, so I'm going to tell this story. And I didn't get confirmation of the, you know, but I didn't expect it either. So, it'll be entertaining at the very least, or distracting. And maybe it'll mean something more than what I think it does. So, who knows? You know, I don't really protect any parts of my uh, um, past. There's, there's nothing worth protecting. It's like, and it's not that it doesn't mean anything. Um, you know that I, I'm not, because I, I can protect anything I want. But does it does it require me to? Does it does it help me to protect it? I'll protect other people's secrets. I'll protect other people's little things that I don't think that they want to be sh shared. But when it's just about me and it doesn't affect anybody else, and it's like, mm, yeah, I'm okay with that. And if if by proxy, you know, it's like, you know, I am a relation to other people. And if they feel like, oh, well, you know, they feel somehow, um, you know, because I am, you know, well, that's not really, I can't do anything about that. So if they're embarrassed, yeah, if other people are embarrassed um, for being somehow associated with me and I'm like doing this and that and the other thing, well, that has nothing to do with me. So if people are embarrassed because I'm in recovery or whatever, you know, for example, um, or think that I shouldn't talk about being autistic and, uh, you know, which I don't yet. Um, then that's that's not has nothing to do with me. So I am free to do whatever I like within reason, within discretion. You know, so I've got to follow uh, follow my heart where it leads as it goes. And uh, I guess the other thing is uh, my left foot still hurts. So I don't think I'll be going for a run in the morning. But like I said, maybe I'll go for that walk and go record some frogs. So that'll be something to do. Go out there. It's going to be cold in the morning. So, But I'll dress warm. It's about, a, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a mile. Maybe a mile that way. So it takes about ten minutes to walk out there. But, hmm, anyway. Yep getting close to that time. So, I guess I should get uh, get to getting mentally prepped. And it's just kind of, it is even sadder a little bit. As I know, it's like, I can hear it sometimes, where like, this is like the highlight of her week where she gets to talk to me. And by the time she talks to me, I'm just kind of numb and uh, defeated a little bit, deflated a lot of bit, a lot of times. Not always. Sometimes I have energy. But, you know, it's been after a whole day of work. And if it's like the bi-weekly, I've got the meeting downstairs, and then the meeting over there, then I get back. And, you know, it's just a whole day. And, you know, she doesn't know that. You know, she has some knowledge of it, but not like a, any sort of appreciation. Not that I'm aware of. But she's really excited. She, oh. And I guess, it, you know, who knows? But, uh, you know, and I am withholding the information, or a lot of information. It's like, because I, I still get, you know, I don't know. I get talked to in ways that I don't like and uh, doubted, and, uh, you know, it's like, I guess in her way she's trying to help, and there's me defending her, so, I don't know, I just, I'm just, I'm just careful about what I share, so it doesn't get used against me, and sadly, that's something I've had to learn to do, but, um, boundaries, so, Mm-hmm.
And with everything else, you know, as I keep saying, yeah, I have no idea. Um, but I'm working on it, I guess, I think. So, I don't know. Anyway, okay.